After first year, my biomed students get to decide which of the specializations appeals most to them so they can streamline their degree for the next four years. One of those options could be materials engineering where they have the option to specialize directly in biomaterials. This means as early as second year, they'll take courses related to biomaterials and continue that through third, fourth, and fifth year. A student could go into materials and iBiomed and focus on designing new imaging technologies or new treatments for cancer or for implantable devices. I think the two work quite well. They match hand in hand. Every medical device has to be made of a material. Your body is like a moving structure and mechanical is dealing with everything moving. So like in terms of your blood flow or your bones, your muscles, the interaction is all mechanical engineering. So I'm really a fan of like um, applications related to orthopedics and also um, vascular like fluid flow and that kind of stuff. Chemical engineering combines physics, chemistry and math and we look at how those interact together specifically um, for concepts such as processing. A lot of the same concepts can be applied to the human body and looking at the human body as a system. The heart is a pump, uh, the, the blood vessel network are the piping, and all the different uh, vital organs, they, uh, their function is to metabolize uh, drugs, metabolize biochemicals, so they are like bioreactors. For chemical engineers, we are equipped with knowledge to understand how fluid flow and that can be applied to understand how blood flow in our circulation system and to you know, understand how, how the human body works right, from an engineering perspective. A combination of biomedical engineering plus chemical engineering is highly interdisciplinary. And the possibilities combining chemical engineering and biomedical engineering are endless. The human body basically is a giant electrical circuit. The heart is its own pacemaker. Um, it has its own electrical impulses. Electrical and biomedical engineering work together to like utilize and understand how the body's own electrical circuit works and then working with ways to input and understand these impulses. I'm really interested in doing um, prosthetics and taking those uh, electrical impulses and then creating new devices. Right now we're living in a very interesting time and just about everything you do depends in some way on software. So software engineering is really trying to take engineering discipline to the way we actually plan and develop software. So we're actually interested a lot in how you develop dependable and safe software. There are lots of these new emerging um, technologies that could really be beneficial for the medical field, such as like medical robotics, or these new biosensors. You have to know the low-level programming so that you could be able to make use of these sensors in a meaningful way. A lot of what we do is actually a, a real marriage between the mechanical, the electronic, in terms of what we're putting into the devices, and the software that actually brings it together and makes it work. Megatronics is an interdisciplinary field of study where you combine, as the name says, electrical, mechanical, and software engineering. So you would actually work in a group with a set of domain specialists. There might be a specialist in the mechanical, in the electrical, or in the software part, but everything has to work together together. It has to be integrated system, and that's really where the strength of the megatronics comes out. So I think megatronics and biomedical is a perfect marriage, since both are interdisciplinary programs by definition. And if you combine them together, you even have a more interdisciplinary, you know, more opening of the door. So I think it's a very interesting program for students who want to inquire and find their own direction. Civil Engineers uh, deals with the interaction between people and the natural and the built environment. Because so much of our health and well-being uh, depends upon the environment that we live in. By making our environment as healthy as possible, we can make our population as healthy as possible. So I picked civil and biomedical engineering because I was very passionate about sustainability and environmental engineering and climate change has such a huge uh, application to the medical field. It's such a huge health problem and so I really wanted to go into civil because I could learn that aspect of it. Engineering physics is like a combination of all of the different engineering disciplines into one from a more deeply theoretical level to allow you to approach any problem in engineering with a lot of understanding. Some things that students can expect to learn in engineering physics and biomedical engineering would be the fabrication and development of biosensors, 
uh, learning the principles of nuclear engineering and diagnosis and treatment of diseases, as well as uh, using medical robotics. Engineering physics specializations like nuclear, nanotech, and optics are fantastically merged with biomedical applications in terms of medical radiation therapy, in terms of nanotechnology implantable devices to detect and cure diseases extending age. Since it taps into getting into the fundamentals of physics, you're able to create uh, the next generation of materials, devices, and systems, and that can honestly just transform healthcare in the future. There's a lot of support there. Uh, there's a lot of different resources, whether it was talking to upper years or talking to profs. The, the key things I think you have to be excited about the disciplines you are willing to put the effort in it and excel in that area. And my advice to anyone going into it is that no matter what you pick, you're going to be happy and it's going to be a, a great program, no matter which street you pick.